<clears throat> okay, we'll start with the Okay, ANOVA <laughs> and MANOVA. Uh, okay, I will concentrate on ANOVA first because I'm, I'm not prepared for the MANOVA. So, I'll just, uh, we'll just do the ANOVA, right? So, uh, ANOVA is actually that, okay, previously, last week we had covered with the index. Here for the uh, using the uh, student index and also using uh, weekly and uh, memory new statements. Uh, what's the term? Memory new. Okay, memory new test for the time parameters. So we have the t-test for the normal uh, data and for the non-parametrics, we have the memory new test. Memory new test. And also we have covered on the descriptive analysis, we describe on the frequencies, uh, we have the track also on the descriptive, and we also try on the uh, normality, we using Kanon-Borov, Smirnov, and also Shapirovitz, right? And also we have done the reliability test for a survey, okay, using the Kanon Alpha, right? And also we have done the uh, uh, I-square, I square, okay, where the data is non parametric, you can use I square to see whether it can be equal or not. Okay. Uh, and, and also, we have tested the differences between two groups, okay, using t and also using magnetic Houston, magnetic Houston, magnetic Right. test for non parametric uh, analysis. Now we will go on the, if we have more than two variables, okay, if you have more than two variables, okay, two groups, okay, sorry, two groups, for example, here we have two, right, then another one, right, so we have three, right, so we have more than two, then we have to use ANOVA for data which is normal. If it, the data is not normal, we are, don't worry, we have another analysis that we can use Okay, um, if I'm not mistaken, we can use um, Kuskawalis. Okay, Kuskawalis test. All right, so this is if you have more than two. Basically, the formula will be the same. Okay, if you use, for example, two groups using ANOVA, okay, the result will be the same if you are using T test also. Okay, for example, you use two, but you use ANOVA as the analysis, the result will be the same as you are using t-test, right? So the idea is here is that, okay, it's just want to show to you how to actually uh, see this, okay? Basically, if you look at The t test, okay, we are looking at the ANOVA here, right? We are looking as this average should be equal with this average, should be equal with this average. Oh, I'm not, I'm not using the right thing. Here. This is this is standard deviation, for, right? So probably I will change this one to clear first. How to clear this? Um, clear the first. Okay, I'm using this. Mu. Okay, this is probably X. Okay, this is Y, Z. Okay, so this must be equal to this and this. So this is, there are no differences between these three groups. Okay, there are no differences between these three groups. And your alternate hypothesis, 
is just simply saying that this might be different to this okay because he's a guy he's a woman he's a girl right this is also a woman so probably this should be the same as this but this boy is not the same as this so you reject the null hypothesis saying that it is the same understand the mean of the mean of this right the mean right so understand okay so which mean that this mean is not is not the same as the mean as this and this is not the same as this but probably this mu uh, the mean of z is the same as mean of x okay for example like this eh? i just put x equal to z right it's the same because there are curves but mu of z okay is not equal to y so you still reject the null hypothesis okay because there is one which is not the same Again, the question? I'm talking uh, the hypothesis itself, the, 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 the from the start. Mm -hmm. Dx does not take from the y, does not take from the z. This is the start. This is the, uh, the hypothesis. Start. No, that's not the null hypothesis. Hypothesis will be equal. <clears throat> okay, it will be equal. You start with this one. You start with. Um, Okay, the you start with equal first. Okay, this will be the null hypothesis. Okay, this will be the uh, null hypothesis. The alternate hypothesis, one of it which is not equal, then is you reject the null hypothesis, you accept the alternate hypothesis, H1. Is H null and H alternate. Okay, so this is H O. Okay, and this is H alternate, or maybe you can say H one. Okay, H alternate. All right. Okay, clear. So basically, the null hypothesis saying that there is no difference, there is no correlation, there is no um, differences. Basically, no differences, no relationship, no correlation, and 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 that is null hypothesis. The alternate hypothesis is saying that it actually had uh, it has correlation, it has a relationship, it has differences, it is different, right? That's normally the alternate hypothesis. Okay, all right, clear. Okay, so if you want to test this, okay, uh, have you opened your SPSS and your data to it right? using the same data last week? You open the data given to you last week, the data about financial literacy. Right? Now, if you want to test three different groups, okay, we don't have any three, uh, more than two here that uh, we have converted. Have we converted what is your, how I call it? No, right? Have we converted this? What is your year of study? Only that, right? 
Okay, now let's do this one. Oh, it's not it's, it's not showing. It's not, it's not broadcasting. Okay, so okay, hold on. <clears throat> okay, now let's say we want to transform this. How do you do that? How do you do how do you transform this data to become numeric? We go to transform, we code into same variable, then you choose what is your year of study, right? Okay, old and new value. All right, now old value, for example, year one. Okay, your new value will be one. Okay. Year two will be two. Okay. Year three will be three. And year four. Year four. Okay. Then we continue. And then click OK. Then we check, okay, it's already been executed. Now we have to check back the data. Okay. All right, all the data has been transformed. Okay, remember, we have to check that this is changed to numeric, okay? What is your year of study? Now change this from string to Numeric. Okay, decimal point zero with six, then you click OK, right? And then you also have to change this to scale. Okay, all right. After that, you need to change this also. Okay, you need to label your values here. Okay, so value one should be year one, value two should be year two, value three should be year three, and value four should be year four. Okay, clear? All right. Now, if you want to, now we can actually <clears throat> analyze ANOVA because there are more than two groups there. We have year one group, year two group, year three group, and year four group. If you want to just see how many actually uh, from year one and year two and year three and year four, you can go to descriptive frequencies and then you check back your, what is your year of study, right? Then you just click okay. Then you can see that you will have that 27% from year one, 23% from year two, 20% from year three, and 28% from year four. So this is your descriptive. So you will need to fill the data, right? So basically it's almost similar, the composition. It's almost 20, 20 to 25%. Right, now we can go and analyze, okay, <clears throat> the compare means, okay, this is if the data is normal. But we know that the data is not normal, okay? Last week we have already identified, okay, identified that the data is not normal. But anyway, this is just showing that how you can use the uh, ANOVA, okay, if your data is normal. So you go to compare means, okay, because we are comparing means, okay? Compare means, then we click on one way and over. Okay. All right. Clear? Then in your factor, put what is your year of study here. This will be your factor. Okay, the group. And then your dependent list would be 
Hmm. Okay, let's say we just start from sometimes expenses can be higher than income and until maybe we just look at maybe until here. Not so many, okay, there are so many. Mm -hmm. Or maybe all. Right? Then you just click there. Okay. All right. Now, this is if you want to get only ANOVA, because there are uh, actually some, uh, we call it advanced, we call it uh, analysis that you can use. But let's say if you want to you look at ANOVA only, right? So you just click OK. Okay, this is the results. Okay. Okay, this is the results. All right. So if you look at this, okay, look at the significant value. Right? This is 0 0.316, which is what would be the rule of thumb? 0 0.05 or 0 0.01 or 0 0.0, 0 0.1. But the normal convention is 0 0.05, right? If it is lesser than 0 0.05, okay, then it is actually significant, which means that there is a difference between one of the group. If it is more than 0 0.05, you cannot reject H null, saying that there is no differences. Which means that for the year one and until year four, the question here, okay, for all the question here, if you look at here, right, basically there are no, many variables are different except for this 0 0.01, right, which is lesser than 0 0.05, right. So what would be the question? All investment in Malaysia are legal. Okay, all investment in Malaysia are legal. So we just keep in mind for that. Okay, all right, and then we go down, scroll down, and look for more. Okay, this is another one. One another variable. Sharia compliant financial products are only available for Muslims, right? So this is another variable which is different, and also this. Okay, Sharia compliant financial products are free from risk. Okay, so another variable, right, which is different. And this one, only salary is subject to tax. Okay, only salary is subject to tax, right? And this is 0, 0.0, or this is also significant. Individuals who pay zakat do not have to pay income tax. All right, and we scroll down. This is 0 0.04, which is lesser than 0 0.05, right? So this is a will cannot be modified once it is written, okay? And then another one, which is I pay my bills on time, okay? And this one. Household income after retirement is able to guarantee a more comfortable living standard. Okay, this is very significant. And this is also significant. I only look for information that keeps me updated with certain products, right? And this is also significant. I know where to get information that I need about financial matters. All right, so that are the variables that are significant, which means that they reject the null hypothesis, they accept the alternate hypothesis, saying that the mean of year one, between year one or year two, and year three and year four are different. Okay, they are different. Maybe one of it are different, or maybe two. Okay, we don't know. Okay, so here, you know that you can actually interpret that for all of the variables, there are no differences between the uh, 
year of studies except for several variables that we have identified just now. Okay, that is ANOVA. We are just trying to, to know whether there are any differences or not between, the, between different groups. Right, so very simple. Okay, are you clear? Are you clear? Okay, no. Are you clear? No, really. Okay, what, what would be the, the, the thing that you you uh you want you want to be uh what would be the questions so? uh, okay yeah uh, for the analysis between the group and other uh, within the groups what difference within the group of what species between group and within group okay yeah. what we want to know is Okay, excuse me for a while, my mother called. I need to answer. My mother call is very important. Okay. <laughs> uh, we cannot reject them, our mother's call. <laughs> Okay. Okay, what will be the difference between between group and within group? Okay, between group is between year one, year two, year three, and year four. What we want to know is between groups. Okay, between group. The, this one is given for within groups. Inside the group itself. Inside the group year one. Okay. But what we want for ANOVA is actually between year one, year two, year three, and year four. Not within year one okay not within year one so that's why the result only shows for between groups yeah. what's the meaning significant this number what's the meaning in year one what happened you know uh, what's the meaning okay as i mentioned before Okay. Okay, as I mentioned before, your null hypothesis is just saying that the average of x is equal to the average of y to equal to the average of z. So the average of this three group will be the same. Okay, that will be your null hypothesis, which means that the p value, okay, because we have p value and alpha value. Remember p value and alpha value. Okay, p value is the calculated value. The alpha value is given. Okay, it's, it's given, okay, 1%, 5%, and 10%. Okay, that is your alpha values. Okay, so the alpha values normally, conventionally, we use 5%. Okay, we use 5%. So, if it's below than 5%, then it is here. So, it's saying that it is not the same, okay, it is not the same. Probably P X, okay, the average of X equal to average of Z, but the average of Y is not equal to Z. 
So that's why it is significant. Okay. Clear? Clear. Now I'm going to, okay, I, I know you have some difficulties. Right? What would be your difficulty? You have to type it. Okay. Yeah. We can do a for the last week. Um, yes. Facebook. 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 I I now in the last chapter, last yeah, I saw it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. we wish this time to uh, so we can Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is good. Uh, I mean, like this. Okay, now. Okay, now. Okay, now. Okay, now. Okay, should I? Okay, now take what this is. Okay, now take what this is. Okay, what this is. Okay. We need to write it as H now. Then we have alternate hypothesis, we write HP, right? Sometimes you write it as H1, H2, which means that this is a three, H3. Okay. H1, H2, H3, H4. Okay. Depending on how you write your, your hypothesis. Basically, non hypothesis, you just say that okay, there is no difference or there is no relationship there is no correlation so basically it's just normal right alternate hypothesis will say yes is a different or there is there are differences but there is another different Wow. There is only <laughs> so one difference. One difference. Okay? Maybe we can just say there is there there are. There is a difference. There is a difference. Okay? Okay? And do this. Right? This is if you are using two tips. Or what? Depends. You, you have to put two no, you don't have to. You don't have to put two. You only have to put. Two. You only have to put two. As each one, because you have maybe you have you have ten hypotheses. Each one, each two, each three, each four. You don't have to write this without this. Without that. So we have this two. Some some uh, zeros. Put two hundred. Like this. Why? Like this. It's up to you. Why? I don't know. Okay, but see. There is a number. We always say that it's um, no difference between. But we want to, I mean, no difference. No difference. So we just put image uh, opposite to the theory. Okay. So, so how we you, 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 right? You, you see it. You see it. Remember the theory says that it is, but why you want to say it's different from the theory? We cannot, uh, I mean, our we cannot, uh, opposite to the theory. 
You can, but you need to justify why you want to put as many people. You want to, to stay from the beginning? Because yes. if you want to put the hypothesis, you want this much be case from the theory. Right? Right? The theory no, says, the theory. Then you have to have justification for that. One theory is for the theory. To justify law. No one Okay. Right. So you must. And then, okay, we, we need to admit uh, another theory to support our yeah. And we make our statement of our hypothesis. Yes. yes. You need to have the justification. If you don't have justification, how are you going to defend yourself and say that this is negative? Supposedly, everybody says it's positive, positive. But you say it's negative. And then there is no justification. There is no theory. There is no future. We want if we want to prove in our study, we know supporting theory, but we want to. Is it? No, <laughs> no, no such thing. For the you must start with theory. For me, then you put it. Unless you are playing, you can create theory. Yeah. I know that, we, uh, but if we don't agree with the theory, no, no such because thing. Because it is designed. There is the line of the contrary must start with theory. So if we don't agree with the theory, we just prove it. There is no correct. Yeah. Uh, See, it's it's prove it, but listen, you said you must support around. Uh, no, no, support we just follow the theory. We think that it is positive, but all your results are negative. Okay. Oh, yes. Right. Okay. So you mean, uh, your hypothesis must be carried with the current kind of origin. The existing theory. Should be, should be. Okay, you can't have a negative thing, negative for your body, you can't have the opposite, but you have to support your why is it basically not the same as the whole theory. Right? Probably you say that. If we, the result we get from our research, not uh, consistent with the theory, then we are explain. Then we are explain. explain why you think it is actually. The opposite of the existing theory. So our research is okay. Not too soon. No, no. I mean, yes. we do. As for me, even though you have that contracting thing result from the theory, it's okay. But some, some, it's just a bit. You need some explanation. What is it? Why does it mean? Maybe. And you move because all the previous case study uh, consistent with the theory, but, uh, but in our study, we use the same theory, but we find it is different. There must be a reason why. Okay, so but the research is okay. I mean, uh, the outcome is acceptable. We PhD research. Only this book. Only this book. Then you have to return it out. Okay, why is it acting like that? And probably you say, if it is, okay, let's say, it's a very simple example of this. And if, if you say that, okay, everybody, last time, then people don't take rebound. Now people take rebound, you see, because it is practice of the kind of group. But you can just say that even though it's actually the practice of the cat work, but the kind of society, but the, you can actually uh, use normative, which is mean that when the actual thing or the right thing to do is not to take the body based on the right Okay, so it's up to you. Okay? How you want it to be? So, so it depends on how you actually regard your. Research uh, paradigm because you have the abductive, the deductive, and also inductive. So, if you are using deductive, then you have to say that if you find it is negative, then it's negative. If you are inductive, right, whatever you find today, that's actually the new theory of the So, if we find is our findings different with the current theory, so we can use another theory. No, no, it depends on your ontology. <laughs> yeah. Going back to your ontology. So we 
because your ontology and also your epistemology and your research methodology will actually look that will actually uh, direct your Depends on ontology, epistemology, and right? Okay, so that's it. Okay, uh, I think I have shown to you about the adaptive, inductive, and also the inductive, right? Okay, so you, you, you have to choose which one. Okay, you cannot just use, use inductive, but your analysis is deductive, right? Or you cannot use, but your conclusion is inductive. Be. You must be right. You must, you must be right. Right? You must be right. Okay. Right. Can we uh, stop for one minute right here? We come back and um, okay. The things are ready. Are we clear now? Yeah. Alright. I think it's clear. Okay. Alright. Okay. All right. We will stop for Margaret prayer. And we start at seven thirty. Thank you. 